guys, it's Brene. Welcome to this home decor DIY. For this one, we need a bottle. I'm using a square bottle because it works best for this kind of project. I'm recycling. This used to contain olive oil, like extra virgin, like the stuff that you buy from the store. And I uh, cleaned this thing like from the inside with some soap and water. And then on the outside, I just removed the tag with some acetone and then with some water and soap. And I just removed the lid and the plastic thingy that uh, it comes with. And now I'm just going to take my pliers or my cutters and I'm just going to remove that part that is left by just cutting it. For the number five Chanel uh, perfume tag, I'm just going to go online and search for like the perfume bottle like that I like the most. And once I have chosen the one that I like the most, I'm just going to open it in a new tag and I'm just going to, you know, save it, like the image, the photo on my computer. And then once I have saved it, I'm just going to open it on my like photo thing. And I'm just going to crop the, the tag. And once I have done that, I'm just going to open my Photoshop. And I'm just going to customize it depending on my battle and the size that I want to go for. This pretty much depends on like the battle that you have. For this one, I just went for this measurements, 3.5 centimeters that is. That opens, it's like a small space. And then I'm just going to go and open my letters. Then I'm just going to arrange it. And so when I have that, I'm just going to print that image. Print and then choose my printer and all that stuff. And then I'm just going to print that. You don't have to use Photoshop. You can use any other program that you use to um, print your photos. Once it's printed, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it. First, like cutting it into a square. And then I'm just going to be placing it on top of my bottle to see how much I need to cut from that. Then I'm going to go with a ruler and a pen. And I'm just going to go and mark with more detail closer to the actual letters. I'm just going to go and place a piece of cardboard underneath it because I just don't want to cut my table. And I'm just going to go with a cutter. And I'm using a cutter. You can use scissors as well. But I'm just using a cutter just to have like sharper lines. I forgot to mention I'm using like regular paper and you can use photo paper, you can even use cardboard for this but I'm just using regular paper. So once that's cut I'm just going to go ahead and glue it on the top of my bottle and once you have it on the top with some glue I'm just going to you know make sure it stays in there just by tapping it here and there especially in the corners just make sure they stick in place and I just use some Mod Podge to glue this part. And that's pretty much it for the bottle. From here you can just do whatever you feel like doing. But I'm just going to go and fill it with some stones that I actually found on the streets. So I'm just going to keep on filling my bottle. Then I'm just going to add some fake flowers. I just like having um, like flowers all around my place. But sometimes I just can't keep track of like um, natural flowers. But if you are going to go with natural flowers, just make sure you add some water. But I'm just going to add perfume at the end, which ironically is not even a Chanel. I don't own a Chanel. This bottle made me want one even more. If you own a Chanel perfume, let me know if you like the smell and which one you have. And yeah, this is the product that I wanted to share with you. Hopefully you liked it. I loved it. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. It helps a lot. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more stuff. I actually have like a floral base playlist on my channel. It's going to be on the cards. Don't forget to share it so more people can watch it. I hope you find it inspiring for your own place, office, home, room, wherever space you need something like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you later. Bye guys.